Hello, 2014 ALS TDI Leadership Summit. I am Pat Quinn, and I'm sure Rob probably said that already, but I am a 2014 recipient of the Stephen Haywood Patients Today Award. It's a real honor to receive this. I mean, ALS TDI is as big as it gets in ALS research, and to receive an award not only from them, but nominated by the public, it really means a lot to me and it means a lot to see the support from the community to recognize the work that I've been putting in to be a real advocate for this disease. It's something that's not fair, it's not, it's not something that a normal 30 year old should be going through, but I honestly believe that I received this diagnosis because I have the support, I'm strong minded, I'm ready to fight. It's not something I'm going to back down or take lightly. I'm, I'm in this to win it. And that's why we started Quinn for the win. Uh, I'm very appreciative of all ALS TDI does, especially Dr. Perrin, Rob Goldstein, who has come to have fun at some of my events, as well as uh, Carol Hamilton, who I'm sure is in the house as well. Thank you guys for not only supporting me and coming to my events and speaking at them and showing people what you guys do, but just on a day-to-day -day basis when you reach out to me, see how I'm doing, it really means a lot. And your support and your continued support, it just, it means everything. So thank you guys. Uh, I'd like to next thank the Haywood family. Without them, TDI would have never gotten under, it would have never started. Without them, this doesn't happen. Steven is what this award is named after, and it's a real honor to receive the award given, known as the Stephen Hayward Patients Today Award. The past recipients are some people that I really look up to and are inspirations to me. Uh, specifically, I've made good friends with Kevin Swan. I've attended his events. Uh, I hope he's there if he is. Hello, Kevin. And uh, a real, real inspiration to me is Pete Frades, who has also won this award in the past. I was diagnosed about a year after Pete, almost to the day. I believe he was March 13th, 2012. I was March 8th, 2013. And it was actually on my way up to TDI to begin this journey fighting ALS. And I reached out to him. I didn't see too many other faces on the internet that were young and who were proactive and there he was, P. Frazee, Boston College, superstar athlete, stud, fighting this thing like an animal, and I just wanted to do what he was doing, so without hesitation, I reached out, and without, without hesitation, this guy said, let's meet up, let's get drinks, let's go to lunch. I met his wife, his brother, his amazing support system, his family is incredible, Frazee's family, thank you. Uh, without you guys, I mean, a lot of this stuff doesn't happen, so thank you. And especially thank you, Pete. It's been an honor to be someone that can call you a friend, so thank you. Uh, there's also another recipient this year, Anthony, who has done some incredible things. I haven't met you yet, Anthony, but I can't wait to I see you do shots on Ellen. Maybe me and you will do a shot or something tomorrow night. But, uh... That's besides the point. You're doing amazing, amazing stuff in the face of tremendous adversity. Um, you see this disease on a daily basis. You see your mother, you've seen it in your past, and you're a real inspiration to step up and take this thing head on and make a video that will compel the nation to, to get behind you and get behind the ALS community. And I'd like to say thank you and I really look forward to meeting you hopefully tomorrow. <clears throat> On a more personal note, I need to thank my family, my friends. I believe my dad's in the room, so hi dad, thanks for being there. Um, but without my family and friends, I'm nothing. You really, you need your support system to, to get, fight this thing. It's a tough disease, it takes everything away from you. I'm, I'm losing my arms, I'm losing my neck. But if I could still smile because my family and my friends won't let me back down or 
or cry about it or be a baby. They, they pick me up, they get behind me. So I'd like to thank my family, my friends. They've been amazing. This Quinn for the Win thing, it's really taken off. We got a, a really good following now. We're trying to do what we can as part of the ALS community to fight this thing. And we're Quinn for the Win. We're not going anywhere. We're gonna fight and we're, we're just proud to be involved with ALS TDI and all that they do. Um, last but not least, I have to thank my wife, Jen. Without her, I'm nothing. She keeps me focused. She keeps me fired up to fight this thing on a day-to-day -day basis. And I just have to say that I love her with everything I have. And I'm going to fight this thing forever because of her. And to finish, there's a lot of people in this room today that work on a day-to-day -day basis to attack this disease that we're all looking to figure something out and try and beat it. So I'd like to thank all of you for being here. It means a lot to me. I am currently probably on a limo at a wedding, so I'm sorry I couldn't make it, but he is a good friend. I deserve to be there. So I will see you all at the gala tomorrow night. Thank you for all that you do, and enjoy the rest of the summit. Thank you.